Before you listen, get to know some topic vocabulary. O types of health workers. Doctor. Nurse. Radiologist. Surgeon. General practitioner. Physiotherapist. Psychiatrist. Pharmacist. Chemist. Optician. First hater. Collocations. Relieve pain. Catch a disease. Treat an injury. Undergo an operation. Good morning, guys. Come on in. Thanks, Steve. It's good of you to spare us some of your time. Yeah, we really appreciate it. That's OK. So you're studying sports science, are you? Yeah, we've only just started our course, actually. But as I explained on the phone, um, we have this seminar to do on sports injuries. And we thought, who better to talk to than someone like yourself? Fine, OK. So what would you like to know? Well, we thought we'd start by asking you about some of the treatments and services you offer here at the clinic. OK. Well, as you know, physiotherapists deal with a whole range of different problem areas in the body. Yeah. What sort of techniques do you use to help people? I mean, I know you use massage, and I understand that's a key form of treatment. Yeah. Well, we call it manual therapy, you know, because it's a hands-on treatment, and it just involves manipulating the soft tissue around a joint to relieve stiffness and pain. Is that something that a lot of people come here for? Um... Well, we generally decide what's best for the individual. This treatment can hurt sometimes, but it gets results more quickly than anything else. And is that true whatever the injury? For sports injuries, generally yes, but it doesn't stop there. You have to do other things as well. I've heard of something called stability training. Do you do that? Definitely. This is something that's designed to improve overall posture and body shape. So it's for the back and neck? I think I've heard of this. It works on everything and gives you more power. Yeah, this is important. We improve your overall form and that's quite good if you're tired or a bit weak. Do you use any aids to boost performance? Occasionally we recommend a pad or block for a sports shoe, but not often. Mm. What about electrical equipment? We do sometimes use electrotherapy, which is supposed to stimulate the body to repair itself. So that's actually using a small electrical charge? Yes, but there's growing evidence that the effect is limited. So I guess you don't use it much? No, we tend to avoid it most of the time. I see. What if people don't have an injury but just want to get better at their sport? I mean, sometimes people know they do something wrong when they swing a golf club, for example. Ah, then we film them and show them exactly what they do. It's called video analysis. That must be really helpful. It's what everyone asks for. It outstrips all our other services because it's great for so many activities, not just sporting ones. Can you help people with sedentary activities? Absolutely. We offer workstation analysis because so many people have asked us for it. Yeah, I spend hours on my laptop and as the day goes on, my posture gets worse and worse. That's why we tend to suggest that people come at the end of the day for this. I guess the problem is that everyone's built differently. I think we both need some help there. That was really interesting. So what happens when someone comes to your clinic? Well, let's imagine you're the patient. OK. A common situation will be that you sustained an injury, say, a year ago. Mm -hmm. So it's not new. So you turn up with what we call an existing injury. Right. Like I sprained my ankle. Exactly. That's a typical one. OK. And I've been to the doctor, and he sent me to the hospital for an X-ray, and then I've been prescribed a cream or even painkillers. You've been through that medical route. OK. And I had to rest it for a while, of course, and that meant not doing any sport. So I've come to you because I'm fed up, basically. Yes. You need to get the joint moving again. Mm. So what we would do first is to assess the damage to the joint area. 
I guess there's a whole range of problems that it could be, and some are more serious than others. And we can't afford to make mistakes. Now, once we know what the problem is, we select a treatment. Perhaps one that we talked about earlier. Plus, we design an exercise plan for you. That's great if you stick to it. Yes, that's the hard part for patients, because they don't have time or they get bored. Mm. So we ask them to come back regularly. We make appointments and we monitor the movement in the joint each time. And you expect that to work? Yes, and it usually does. Quite quickly, in fact. And then we can go on to rehabilitation. You mean getting them back into the sporting activity they used to do? That's right. We have a fully equipped gym and we devise a training plan. Well, a personal trainer does that, and they oversee the program for at least a couple of months and make sure the patient carries it out. It sounds really thorough. That's great, Steve. Thanks.